good morning and welcome to uh, another edition of From the Hive. Uh, I've just come down to the Hive on this Saturday just to uh, see what's going on here and have a last check before we uh, go away. Uh, I can see the ladies here and actually interestingly enough I heard uh, one of my friends uh, Simon Christie who lives in Northern Ireland he referred to uh, his first nucleus of bees as his air force which I think is brilliant description of uh, the, the bees because that's what they do but uh, they are extremely busy as you can see all on the top of the frame of this honey super I think they've been doing some things in the other honey super that we've got on top of this but that's just there for storage so what I'm going to do is to start And they have been putting some honey into here. This is the uh, one of the frames that we've previously taken honey from. So they're actually a bit busy putting honey away here. But this is not what I'm just uh, actually coming to see. I'm just going to check one or two frames from here. Um, but the main thing I'm going to be doing is to actually have a little look at... Uh, what's going on in this hive. Right, so here we are. We've uh, now taken off the Queen Excluder and looking directly into Abigail Hive. It's kind of where we're going to start off. Um, and uh, so let's just see gently what's actually going on. We've got lots and lots of ladies. So we're going to go and start off by looking at this one, which is slightly empty cone, but there's not really a lot happening there. Now they've built up some things that does look to be there's that queen cell which is completely empty on this one. The queen has come out. There's some other cells just down on the bottom here. And cells in there. It's all a process of learning just at the moment and uh, the experienced beekeeper and technically I should really have uh, some other help with this. I will be taking out the super in just a moment and let you have a good look at it. What we're looking at for today in this Abigail hive is to see whether we can see any brood. All the bees are here together, but last time we looked, I couldn't actually see too much brood here. Though I did see some workers emerging, which was good, but it's brood that we're looking out for. So as soon as I see something, I'll come back. Right, well, we're getting part way through the uh, hive, and uh, what I have been able to see is it looks like some brood, which is being sealed up. And the bees do seem reasonably happy, I've been one or two casualties unfortunately from my activities but that's unfortunately one thing that actually happens uh, that however careful we try to be as beekeepers especially inexperienced beekeepers like me uh, with big fingers like this I mean that's not exactly small is it but anyway big fingers and frames like this that is sometimes a bit hard to get hold of and you get bees crawling all over it and it's a bit hard to uh, get in and about and then you may accidentally crush a bee unfortunately these are things that you have to think about the colony as a whole rather than individuals though I don't like crushing anyone um, so what we're going to do 
is uh, I'm going to check through the rest of this have a little look through these supers over this super over here see what the bees are doing whether they're laying down any more honey or not uh, what we do have to do as well uh, this year is to be mindful of the fact that this year has not been that brilliant for 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 bees at all and we don't know what the winter is going to be like so we have to be careful and mindful but we do have some food in the car and we can uh, make sure that these bees even if we did take a second honey crop which is possible uh, to make sure that the bees actually have uh, sufficient uh, and I'm hoping and praying for a really good September uh, with lots and lots of heather and honey and whatever else so right well we've uh, opened up now the Abigail hive we've had a look at the brood box uh, things seem to be fairly healthy they're putting away some pollen some honey and it does look like there are some cells, brood cells, which have been sealed. A lot of drones about, which uh, uh, this time of year I understand that there probably wouldn't be drones so much. But because everything's been so delayed over past months by the weather, here nice and sunny at the moment, but things have been delayed somewhat. So everything is probably behind and some of the flowers have been held back and... So the bees are doing what they can to uh, spurt on some extra honey. So I'm going to try, ha, try having a look at a couple more frames from the super here. I'll have a little look and see what the ladies have been up to. <coughs> There is actually some filled uh, honeycomb now, uh, which they're starting to put away again. I'm not sure how many stores they'll get, but if it's not uh, such a, an amount, then what we'll do is uh, probably leave some of that for the bees because they have been working very hard and it hasn't been an easy time for them. Uh, they have been very good in making sure that we've had some honey and uh, so I'm very grateful to God for that. So. Yeah, but also been sealing up some honey here which you can see so they are making a second crop of honey probably not very pleased that I'm going in here but I'm going to put this one back I'm going to let the bees have their honey again and uh, very grateful to them for allowing us to go in there. So we're going to have a little look at some of the one or two of the other hives and uh, see what we can find and I'll give you a report then. Now we've uh, just opened up Abigail hive here and uh, we've actually got six frames there. One, two, three, four, five, six with a seventh uh, with some uh, with some comb on it and I'm very pleased to see that on this third frame that I've taken out there is some actual brood here it's sealed brood so the bees are doing well they are slowly expanding but this was actually a, uh, a nuke which we bought uh, just a week after the first ladies arrived on site and uh, so they've been building up this comb over the summer probably not strong enough at the moment to do anything with by way of putting a soup on but certainly next year they will be uh, picking up and as I say there's some brood here everything having been held back quite a bit by the weather uh, but it'll be good if they just expand all this comb uh, that would be great so we're gonna go and have a little look it looks like they've actually made a bit of comb in the corner here. I don't know whether you can see that, but there's a bit of a comb there. 
which has been made up I suspect it's a little bit of raised comb fewer bees in here but nevertheless bees that are they are building up and there you are you can see the raised comb here you can see the areas of filled brood uh, uh, capped brood as well so that's good ladies all doing well it's very good to see that so we're going to put that one back just into here like so be as gentle as possible have a little look at this now this one is actually stuck together so we do have this hive tool which is just here and I'm going to do what I can just to gently and I mean gently though I have to be careful because I don't want to disturb any of the bees ah What I have been able to do is just to loosen that a wee bit. Now this one I can't see any brood on this side. I don't there's actually some honey and capped honey on this side, so they're using this for supplies at the moment. Uh, that's what is happening here so we've got one or two frames with actual brood on them which is good two frames with brood on them um, sealed brood at that so the Queen is obviously busy laying away and uh, this is the seventh look frame that we've had and uh, the bees obviously doing really quite well. I'm actually hoping that this one's actually in focus. Because to me, this doesn't look totally in focus at the moment. However, I'm going to go and put this one back. And that, that's the sixth, rather, and the seventh is just simple uh, comb that has been built up the bees have been building that up so these bees at the moment they're building up nicely they're uh, quite happy with them uh, as this uh, wheat colony that's building and this is the Bethany hive okay so we've opened up uh, Chloe hive and as you can see they've actually built up some comb even with glistening honey on it just on the inside of the cram board. Now this is the swarm that we actually got a few weeks back uh, which came just almost by a miracle uh, and this uh, swarm landed in one of the other keepers hives. Uh, they're building up quite nicely but uh, they've got about five six frames that they have occupied one two three four five six and there are five frames still to occupy but they're doing really well I'm going to take a look at them and see how they're doing and I'll come back to you. Well looking at this is uh, the frames, certainly this frame uh, and uh, one frame I've seen uh, picked out uh, is filled with honey. Uh, one frame is filled with honey and brood as well uh, and certainly the bees have been very very busy there. I'm estimating that there could be about 25 to 30,000 bees in here just in these few frames uh, but that's just a, a personal um, guesstimate of mine in in this area but when they fill up all the frames of course uh, probably about this time certainly June July time we're getting up to about 40 60 70,000 bees and that's probably approximately how many there are in the Abigail hive just over there about uh, maybe about 30,000 bees here and, uh, and about uh, 
20, 25,000 in the other. So all doing very well, uh, looking uh, good. So that is, I think, uh, almost about it. I'm going to have a quick look, if I can, at one of the other frames just to have a look and then that'll be us uh, signing off for another day. Well, there's a huge amount of activity here. Uh, I've just taken out one of the other end frames just here and uh, I've noted that there's a, the frame feels really heavy uh, and it's got a lot of brood on it, a uh, sealed brood at that uh, and some open brood which is still to be sealed but also a lot of honey. The bees at the moment are doing a little bit manic here but uh, that's to be understood if you have someone who decides to go into a beehive and uh, decides to have a little look at what the ladies are up to uh, you're going to get some somewhat angry ladies but uh, this is